recording. All right. Good afternoon or good morning. This is uh, Tom Curgeon, Master Bowyer from Boise Bows and Arrows. We're down in North Carolina at the John C. Campbell Folk School in Brasstown. Uh, just made five great new bows. We're going to shoot the first arrows off of those bows. Uh, we've all shot arrows during the course of our lifetime, but none really more recently than two years ago. So uh, we're going to be talking and seeing how the arrows fly off these bows. Pardon the traffic. As far as safety, we're all blocked in. We've got a stone building behind us. We're about 50 feet from the road. There's, there will be traffic, but if not, we're in a safe situation. So for those who are curious. Steve, you have not made a bow before. You've taken classes at John C. Campbell before. Okay. And when was the last time you shot anything? If you had to put a number on it. 40 years ago. And how long did you have to wait to make this bow from the 2x4 bow that you started when you were 7? Uh, 50 years ago. 50 years ago? Alright, good deal. Well, let's see how your first arrow flies off your brand new bow. That's a great question. As far as aiming, what we're, all we're interested in today, really, is having the arrow go that direction and have it be safe. And we have a, a plywood backstop down there that stop the arrows. So anywhere on that piece of plywood is perfect for me. Okay, if you want to, if I say down, when you're at full draw, if I say down, just drop your hand down one inch at a time because I think you might be shooting a little high. But I would probably aim towards the middle of that board and call it down. Nice and smooth. A thing called gap shooting where you look down your arrow today that's more advanced i would just say look where you want the arrow to go like pete rose see the ball hit the ball see the target hit the car target all right <laughs> nice and smooth very nice there you go what did you think uh was it what you were expecting the classes in general or yeah exactly okay, okay. uh it's all nice and smooth right in the back and yeah, yeah. yeah. It felt real good. Yeah. Real solid. Uh, thank you, Wayne has shot about two years ago or so. He shot everything from recurves, long bows, compounds. But this is his first bow, right? Or fit he's ever made. made uh, that you ever made. Um, I'd like to thank you for your military service. Thank you. If that's okay, yeah. we do appreciate that. Um, let's see how your first arrow flies. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm curious. All these bows came out. They were way strong at first. We had to remove more material off the belly, and here we are shooting them. About ten hours worth of instruction and and work. Nice and smooth down. It almost sounds like a 22 hitting down there, yeah. doesn't it? That was right. a good feeling. Okay. With compound bows, the, the, the weight of the bow, you can leave your hand open the whole time. With these, they're so light, they'll fly out of your hand. So you have to grip them before releasing the arrow. Nice and smooth. Hit it. What do you think? Sweet. Sweet? Sweet. Well, show them the smile. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> the folks at home want to see that smile. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Keep the women and children indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Wynn. Come on down, Tim. Tim, all the way from upstate New York. Yeah, the Adirondack Mountains. Yeah, Adirondacks. So I've got family up there in Madison County. Um, you have not made a bow, correct? Never made a bow before, no. And how much woodworking experience, really? Uh, a lot of woodworking experience, but nothing along this line would be uh, yeah. learning how to make the work better. Yeah. So that's why I took the class. Okay, yeah, and I'm hopeful, you know, if you do arch windows or something, you can use that. The same techniques that we learned, you can yeah. use that to put in, you know, trim that it needs to bend and you don't want to steam it or work it. When you're ready, nice and smooth, just pick a spot down range, preferably the side of the uh, fly rig. 
What's that first spot? <laughs> well, that's, that's the release. That's the release? I was looking to hit trees, cars, <laughs> something else. I hit the board. <laughs> I'm a happy man. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. What did you think about arrow speed? Or that's a... Uh, that all did feel good. Yeah. You see how it, it, the shooter knows when they're going to release, so they can hear that playing of the string. If you're off and you're looking down, it's hard, and you all you hear is, and then you hear it hit down range. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. That that had the arm guard. <laughs> <laughs> the smartest ten dollars you'll spend right there. Arm guard. All right. Yeah, Thank like you. Robin Hood. Yeah. Hey. yeah. No pressure, but no one's missed. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Dennis, how far did you, uh, did, I can't remember if you said you flew or if you drove. Uh, I did. We flew up, I flew up from uh, Sarasota, Florida. Okay. Yep. So Sarasota, and, and is there archery, do you have archery range, or you haven't even looked into it that far yet? I've uh, looked into it, but um, have not gone any further. Yeah. Yep. This is all brand new to me. Yeah. Other than when I was a kid, even in you know, toy bowl and arrow. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make sure that uh, arrow, you'll hear an audible snap. There, there you go. go. Once that's on like that, we know that that arrow can go straight. So with two fingers just on the string, and you have not shot for how long? Give us a Close to 50 years? Yeah, 50 years. Okay. So here we go. Nice and smooth. Just draw back nice and smooth. Drop your left hand down about an inch. Draw back further. Keep going, keep going. There you go. One dead laurel. All that. right, then. Okay. I was the first <laughs> miss. <laughs> Someone had to be. Yeah. Okay. With uh, I, this is one thing I did forget to mention. Go ahead and pop that off. We're gonna have that yellow cock feather up. So we'll have this feather up. There uh, you go. That's why I missed. There the you go. They tend to fly up. high. Yeah. When okay. uh, when that happens. But if I say down, we'll let we'll let you get this arrow off. If I say down, we're just gonna drop our left hand down. Okay. All right. So nice and smooth. And, and that was a bullseye. <laughs> if you'd have seen the circle, that was a bullseye. <laughs> right. I can vouch for that. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, watching all these videos. Uh, there's some 260 uh, of them out there. But if you're ever interested in making a longbow, if you've tried and failed, if you've tried and succeeded and want to get to the next level, check my website, boysybowsandarrows.com. Google my name. Uh, visit us on or ask your questions on Archery Talk, uh, Tom Turgeon Traditional Forum. Meet you there. We have people from all over the world asking questions. Join in, get your questions answered, come to a class, kick your bow building experiences up a notch. Thank you very, very much.